This is Steve at Cabot Components. Today we're demonstrating our Solar Guard Radiant Barrier using a, uh, for lack of a better term, a homemade heat box. We've already turned on the heat box and you can see that the temperature is already up to about 136 degrees. It's been on for about a minute or so. Our temperature under the Solar Guard Radiant Barrier is 78 degrees. And over here, under our combination of solar guard and fiberglass insulation, we're also at about 78 degrees. So we're going to let this run for a couple minutes and warm up, and then we'll see what our temperatures go to. The purpose of this test is to primarily show the effectiveness of the solar guard radiant barrier against UV uh, heating. There are three types of heating, the first being radiant, that's what you're observing with the uh, ultraviolet lights. Those lights are heating up the um, interior of that box. As they heat the air, the air then becomes a convective heat source. Um, and as the air touches the solar guard or the sides of the wooden box, it would be conductive heat. Solar Guard reflects approximately 97% of all radiant energy, so it does a real good job of uh, reflecting back this UV. You can see that our thermometer here is at 154 degrees. Our Solar Guard is holding at 78 degrees. And here where we've added just a little bit more protection with fiberglass insulation, we're at 77 degrees. So you can see how this material, particularly when used in conjunction with your fiberglass insulation in your attic, can provide uh, excellent thermal protection. Solar Guard is uh, the first insulation to protect against radiant heat. This revolutionary fiberglass and radiant barrier product blocks out radiation from the sun that is hitting your roof and eventually makes its way into the interior of your home. This keeps your home cooler and your energy bills lower. Solar Guard reflective insulation can stand up to the toughest thermal and fire safety standards. With a compact design, it is easy to install and fits perfectly in those hard to protect places. You can install this in your attic by putting the material between the roof joists or uh, the rafters rather, or by laying it over them. What you need to do is uh, just create an airspace of at least one or two inches between your roof, uh, interior, and the facing of the radiant solar guard reflective barrier. You can also lay this material directly onto your fiberglass insulation or your blown insula in insulation. This is a perforated material, so you'll still have uh, the ability of humidity to uh, exit the interior of your house. And Solar Guard, when used in conjunction with fiberglass insulation, significantly enhances the effectiveness of uh, the fiberglass insulation itself. What we're looking at here is about four inches of insulation. Solar Guard's revolutionary reflective insulation product that combines both a high performance fiberglass core of approximately one quarter inch with durable reinforced facing material on the exposed side and reflective foil film on the back. It is available for both residential and commercial use. And let's see how our thermostats are doing. We are currently at 167 degrees on the upper thermostat. I think that just rolled to 168. We are at 79 degrees on the lower thermostat one under the solar guard used by itself. And we've got a couple of degrees better on the solar guard used in conjunction with the fiberglass. So as you can see, this material is doing an exceptional job of reflecting that radiant heat.
Solar Guard is sold by the roll and is generally shipped UPS or FedEx. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies. So the shipping uh, is fairly inexpensive. I think you're getting the idea of how this performs. We're not going to watch it through a whole period. This upper thermostat will get up to about 250 degrees. Right now we are at, it looks like, 177. Now, 171. It's probably easier for you to see it on the camera than it is for me to read it. Down here on our solar guard thermometer, we're at 79 degrees. And the solar guard insulation combination, we're still holding at 77 degrees. Well, I hope this demonstration has helped. Uh, we've talked a lot about the solar guard, uh, we've written a lot about it. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, so I guess a video is worth about two thousand. And uh, we're pleased to share this video with you. If you would like to read about our Solar Guard reflective foil, you can visit us at http colon www cabot, C -A -B -O -T, components, all one word, dot com, cabotcomponents.com. From there, you can click the uh, View Pricing button and take a look at our pricing on this material for both the residential and the commercial. You can also look at our other fiberglass products, including unfaced insulation, which is ideal for installing in your attic spaces. And if you want to go directly to our shopping cart, just put the word shop in front of Cabot Components. Let's do more, one more check on uh, the thermostats, and then we will Go ahead and turn this off and let you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> there is no rest of the video. Here we go. Looks like we're at 174 degrees on the upper chamber. 79 degrees, still holding at 79. And over here we are still holding at 77. Well, thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you will visit our website, and most importantly, that you'll buy our product.